Okay, welcome to the Snapchat Starter Pack. This is the first mission for you to complete inside this Udemy course. And what it is, is it's basically how to add people on Snapchat. I'm gonna show you that functionality. Along with, we're gonna be adding the top 10 businesses currently on Snapchat. And these businesses have, I don't know exactly how much, but th they spend thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe millions on Snapchat social media research because they wanna be as optimized as possible and really taking advantage of this new platform for their brands. And they do some really cool things on Snapchat. So that's why in this starter pack uh, challenge, what I encourage you to do is follow the brands that are spending so much money on research for Snapchat and just use what they're doing as inspiration for what you can do on your Snapchat for your business. So I'm gonna open Snapchat now. And as you can see, it opens to the camera view immediately. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click the little icon at the top, which is a little ghost icon. And that pulls us into the first settings window. Now, from here, you can see people who've added you. You can add friends and you can see my friends, which are people who have added each other. So they've added you and you have added them back. We're gonna click add friends. It's gonna bring up four different ways to add friends. Nearby, the bottom one, if anyone's on your Wi-Fi network or has this same window open, you can add each other using uh, this feature right here. Add by snap code. I'm gonna get into that a little later in the course. It's a really cool feature. Add from address book means people in my contact book on my phone. And add by username is the one that's gonna be most used and we're gonna use right now. So I'm just gonna click that. Now in here, you can just type any username of someone you wanna add on Snapchat. I'm typing McDonald's. You can see it loads the McDonald's username down the bottom with a little plus icon. So you click the plus icon and I'm now following or half friends with McDonald's. So it's basically like on Twitter or on Instagram when you're following someone, you're gonna get these updates in your newsfeed. So this is exactly how you add somebody. I'm gonna now provide you with a list of 10 businesses who perform really well on Snapchat and get great results so that you can follow them and see what they post on Snapchat to help you with ideas and motivation for posting your own content on Snapchat. Okay, so in front of you now, you can see the list of suggested accounts that are the 10 top business accounts according to my research and what I've been watching on Snapchat. They do really cool things. So we're gonna go ahead and add these 10 accounts now as your first challenge. So once again, we go back into add friends, add by username. I'm gonna go down the list typing each name into here and just adding them on Snapchat. So you can go ahead and do that as you watch and I'm gonna do it with you. So Taco Bell is the next one. I've already added McDonald's, just add. Once it's got the tick, you can close it out. And General Electric. There's also a nice range of brands that I've included in these uh, lists. So you can get an idea based on what niche or market or category they're in, what these uh, businesses are putting out there. NBA, which is Nat National Basketball Association. Audi. Disney. Girls, HBO. Grubhub. Love 16 Handles. 16 Handles is the frozen yogurt uh, store and they do some really, really cool campaigns. I'm gonna get into one example of their campaign, their marketing campaign on Snapchat further into the course, which is really, really cool. And the last one is WWE, and I'm gonna add that. So now we are following all 10 of these people, and what I'm gonna show you how to do is, I'm gonna show you how to see what they're putting on Snapchat. So I'm gonna get into the Snapchat platform and explain exactly what everything is on Snapchat in the upcoming module. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you exactly where to see these updates for these top 10 brands on Instagram so that you can continually get ideas as we go through this course. Now, the one thing about Instagram, which I'll get into more detail later, is posts only last 24 hours, and you can only see the post if you're following that brand when they post it. 
So right now they may not have any content because we've just followed these accounts, but to see if they do and to keep coming back and seeing what they're posting, you can go back, back again, and then scroll up to get back to the camera pane. I'm gonna scroll to the right and you can see what's called the stories tab. I'm just gonna refresh it to see if anything came in. And as you can see, we're lucky that it did. The MBA and Taco Bell, which we just followed, you can see have stories for their accounts. So to view the story, I'm just gonna click, tap on it, on the MBA, and also tap on Taco Bell. So it loads up the story. And then to view the story, you can simply click the NBA icon again. So you can see uh, the NBA announcing their Christmas Day game ball. And let's see what Taco Bell are doing. It's a lot of tacos getting bigger and bigger. And then it has to load again. So they're offering a surprise. They got some really cool designs. They're running a competition right now, which I'll get into exactly how to do this for yourself later in the course. But you can see, we can now see the updates from these accounts and it's really beneficial because these guys really do a good job with their Snapchat accounts. So I'm gonna leave you with that. Keep coming back into the stories and seeing what these 10 accounts are doing in order to engage their fans and keep them entertained and even offer them special coupons and offers for following them on Snapchat. So I'll let you guys come in here and discover for yourself what these brands are doing. And I want you to do this on an ongoing basis over the upcoming few weeks as you're getting used to Snapchat. So that's it for this lecture. I'll see you in the next module.